Well, hello, good morning, welcome back to the channel. We're just pulling out the yard this morning in Whitwood. We've come up to, we've come up to just five past five currently on the 20th of May. It's Monday the 20th, we are heading down to um, Redditch this morning. We're 127 miles away from the um, from the job this morning a bit so this morning I went running yesterday and a bit of the curb or a bit of the pavement that I was running on fell away one of them were about six old paving slabs it sort of dropped by about know, five inch when I stepped on it and yeah I went straight over on my ankle so my right foot's a bit so this morning but it's a good job that this um, this job is about um, what 95% sat on your ass doing notes, so I've got that going, which is alright, I suppose, isn't it? You know, it could be a lot worse. So, yeah, we're heading down to Redditch. We've got a nine, no, half past eight booking down there at a company called Transmech or Transneck, something like that. It's a new one for me, I've not done it before. So, it's, um, yes, yeah, definitely going to be interesting to um, see what it is down there I'm just resetting the mileage for this trip quickly luckily we can do it while we're moving on this one unlike on the dafts there's no cone there so I'm gonna try and swing out I think if I know we'll go around we'll spin it we don't want to upset people we'll go down spin it around come back up do the easier thing yeah no point causing any more grief. Oh, so yeah, we've got this half past eight. No, eight o'clock, sorry, yeah, is actually not half past eight. I thought it was half. I keep thinking it's half eight, but it in it's eight o'clock. Transneck down there. That's into Freightliner in Birmingham. And then we've got a um, 12 o'clock West Brom on the back of it out of a place called CCS over at... Um, Oh, come on, Harry, think West Brom, which I think is going to be a little bit tight, but we'll um, have to wait and see on that front, won't we, as to whether it's going to be on time or not. We're unsure, so we've got this week, next week of normal vlogs, and then I'll be down in London for four days. On a little um, little gallivant, so we'll have to um, see what entails on that. But yeah, well, hopefully it's about me getting my green card and start making better, well, start making full plans to um, yeah get over stateside, you know, and get a proper full size truck. But well, I'll get off for now. We'll. Um, crack on with some miles we'll make some progress towards towards redditch so it's got us there at 738 currently so we best get a foot down and yeah make up some ground so we're in hour and 25 down the road at the minute hour and 14 away from the job we've hit plenty of road works i know that we're just coming down to the A52 at for Nottingham and Derby. I didn't even think there were roadworks here. But I didn't even know there were roadworks here. Lord knows what they're doing here now. I know they've extended the roadworks on the M1. They're all the way down past 28 now. They used to be to just past 29. So they've added another junction, another junction with the roadworks there. They've got roadworks here as well. It's never ending it like I say I think investing in cones if you want to get any shares anyway put them into cone manufacturers because there's plenty of them there is plenty of them so yeah it's got us at 743 currently at the moment um, I think on sat nav screen on the dashboard that I can see it's well it must be glitched must be somewhat not right because it's got me there at 904 <laughs> uh, 59 mile away so yeah it's um 
with that or we're going to have some hell of traffic to um, sit in so who knows who knows but yeah we've got more road works but hopefully we can make it on time and start the week off right um, it'd be nice but you know it happens sometimes doesn't it it does happen but we'll keep plodding away hopefully these are the last set of road works I think um, then it'll probably just be traffic boarding up on the outskirts of Birmingham which would be even better when it on M42 and that so we'll see hopefully we can uh, get a clear run down it's coming up to half past six but I won't start holding my breath just yet well it won't be Birmingham without some traffic would it well it definitely won't be the M42 either at the airport and then NEC without some traffic don't help that there's road works as well like you know, either, you know, just some more road works for good measure, like just to um, just to make it um, even better. Um, what we're 20 mile away. Got, still got a Z746 actually at the minute, taking 27 minutes. So, you know, I'll take that at the minute. Still, if we can get there on time, we're um, we'll be laughing, you know. But I can. Uh, it's, it's moving traffic again I mean, I'm going to keep moving a bit that's the main thing if we can keep moving in it when it's at a standstill it's awful around here you, know, you, can't, you cannot move for like 10 minutes sometimes just in congestion but you know, hopefully we can make, make it there on time and we can be tick job one off on our of the week on time yeah, still saying 747 we're doing 40 mile an hour again now so not too bad i suppose we've um, we've been in west and yeah, we have been in west I'll turn lane detection off because it'll go crazy with the black lines that i still painted here they didn't take the old lines up they just painted over them but oh well oh well we're getting there anyway that's the main thing so yeah let's get down to this job now where hopefully we'll be on time and then we can see what's happening down there. Oh, 0.6 of a mile away. Currently 7.47. So we've cracked it pretty much. Well, not pretty much, we have. We're on, we're on time as long as we don't miss it and struggle turning around or something like that. But we should be, uh, we should be golden actually. We should be all right. So yeah, happy at that. Happy we got a good run at it. Really, really happy. I'll let this swipe him out. Yeah. We'll let him out. And then we're good to go. So we're straight over this roundabout and then we turn left. Let's have a look. This one's coming round. The next one's coming round. Up the roundabout, there we go, we're out. So, straight over. Oh, no, not that one. They're turning to gags there. <laughs> so, we round the bike, cross gate road. That's what we want, well that van's just coming out. Got a nice morning for it. Over 15 degrees. A nice weekend as well, really, really sunny. Turn left, I think it's just around this right hand bend and on our right. I might have been here before. I recognize this road. I do recognize this road. Not fully, but I do recognise it. It does look familiar. So it's here somewhere. Recycling facility. So no entry sign on it. As I sit here, transmit. 
but we've got cars parked outside on it. One where it says keep clear on it and there's a car parked right there. Just made it round. Oh, we're here. Is that anyone in security or? There's no one in security. The gates are open. So we'll keep going down. See what we do. Um, there's a reception there. It's busy. I get it in that spot. Might just put it into this space here, to be fair. Right away then, aren't we? We're not just abandoning it in the middle of the yard. There's a spot, it's got a trailer in it, like, behind it, but there is a spot to at least get in out of the way. That is what we'll do. We'll get out of the way, and then we're good to go. Realise I've got a microphone on light. Oh, never mind, so I'm gonna get off anyway and I'll go book in the, I'll go walk and see him and get booked in here. And yeah, we'll get sorted in here and get loaded. Okay, so things aren't quite gone as planned. We've um job job is cancelled here, we're just waiting for some space to come through we can get out of the yard. It is a bit um bottlenecked at the minute. But we're just going to do the second job, the um, West Brom one that we did a few weeks ago. We're just going to head there. We're 25 mile away. We've got us there at 25 past 11 once we can get out of here. We'll get out of here and head over there, load that. That's into Tamworth then. And I imagine that'll be it for the day then. It'll just be get some on or sort some for tomorrow because obviously we started at half past four this morning. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they can get us to at least run somewhere and um, get out of the way. But I, I, doubt, I think we'll be down at um, Birmingham for for the good majority of the week. It's just what I can see happening, unfortunately. But you know, it's what it is, isn't it? I suppose you got to you got to take the rough with the smooth, as some would say. But hopefully, then this wagon moves. In a second, that's on our right. I think he's going to back onto bay two next to the truck that's there and the trailer that's dropped. The Decker Solution ones. It's just getting back in it now, I think, to back up and then we can just swing out and get into a... get into a space. But, yeah, it's a bit chaotic this yard at times. It's not the biggest. Is he just backing up? There we go, he's backing up now. He is backing up now, so... Yeah, at least we're doing a job that we've done before. We know they're all right there, the... Um, no loading ramp, just pull up past where their door was. They'd load it there and back out, so, you know, it's not that bad on that front, I suppose. It um, could be a lot worse, but... We'll wait till we get a gap, and it looks like he's going to get straight on in one, maybe. And then we'll um, we'll make our way out of here. I still keep looking over the airport camera then at times. I know I do. Is he going to get on in one or is he going to have to adjust? It looks like he might get on in one, you know. Looks like he might get on in one. Yeah, we're going to fire up and get out of here. We need to set. We need to start making progress to this job. We're. Um, Got us there at 11.26 at the minute now. So let's spin it round and there's a wagon coming down anyway. There's a there's a foreign wagon coming down, but we should be alright. If we can they'll be able to get past surely at this when the when they get down here that is anyway. Oh on. So everyone wants to keep stopping at that security I bet that don't that don't know about it here. Because um it looks like there's gonna looks like there'll be security in it, but there isn't there's no one in it. There we go, we're free, we're clear, let's get moving. Let's get some mo mo uh, miles done. It is a little bit I think they're all queuing for the tip here, you see. 
Yeah, they are. They all queue for the tip. Yeah, they're queuing right up that road. They're queuing right up that road. Well, that's a busy tip, isn't it? Busy recycling centre. But yeah, we're clear. So we're going to head back on the 42 towards the M5. Up the M5 and coming that way to West Brom. So let's get over towards West Brom and get this job loaded. And yeah, hopefully things will turn around a little bit. So we're getting down towards this job in Hilltop at West Brom. So we were here, we was here I think three weeks ago. We was last here. And um, yeah, we um, were all right in here. It was a um, easy tip, Hunter found it. It, didn't, it was the one that didn't have the um, name of the company on the sign or on the building really. <laughs> but with, by process of elimination that everybody else had the name on that and the sign up to say who they were on the building, we found it. So it's just down here it's saying, and it is. It's, 800 yards away, we're a minute away from the job. It's just come to um, 11.26. So, perfect. We're um, doing all right. That's a, bit of a blind bend there, isn't it? We're gonna go, because we can't really see around the wall. Yeah, like that. You can't see the wall, you can't see the road on the wall, for the wall that's up for this place on the right. We've got round, so we're down here. I think it's roughly where that wagon's just come past is where we turn right. And it turn right, a little right again, then it drops down a hill. Just slow down for that. There we go, we're past. Got a bit tight there, didn't it? I got tight all of a sudden. So we turn right here. Slow down. Yeah, we're clear. We're clear. So we've turned right here and then I think it just might even just go straight on but it might just be a little right kink no it's just straight on hilltop the hilltop estate so we're down this hill and then I think it's back of the first building that we go and then hey presto we're there we can get loaded so this bit of a weird time being booked for 12 o'clock it's not usually quite there isn't usually a jobs booked for 12 o'clock at places because it's lunchtime isn't it it's usually lunchtime for everybody so they'll book them for like one o'clock but oh well we're booked for 12 we've got here at half 11 so that's all we can do about it isn't it is um get here accordingly so yeah i think it's at back of this um cowin logo cowin global or cowin global Oof, yeah yeah I remember that speed bump as well there yeah. so last time we were here there were no one here but there was another container that turned up at the back of us I can't remember what we might have been booked for 11 o'clock last time as well oh there's no container here so I think what we'll do is I'll line up how they had me last time we lined up in front of all these cars that are on the right and um, just did it from there. So I think that's what I'll. Um, I think that's what we'll do again. We'll spin it round here if we can, and then we'll be good to go. We'll just spin it, spin it slowly. Try and take it as wide as we can. We're not chewing up concrete then or out. But we are. We've got an empty box on anyway. But in fact, I'll just pull up parallel with this van until they come and um, confirm where they actually want us. So yeah, I'll get off and wait for them to come out and see us. And um, yeah, we'll get sorted in here, get loaded, get over towards Bift, Tamworth, you know, Maritime, and then um, yeah, get this box off and see what they have for us. So we are slowly getting loaded. We've just come up to 
one watch i've come up to five to two it currently is just in the same spot as we were the other week and um, we've asked for a three o'clock vbs because we are actually nearly loaded i think um all the pallets have disappeared onto us so hopefully we're not we're not long before we're leaving here so i've asked for a three o'clock vbs waiting to sit, get up back from him for a confirmation on that but we still no word on what we're doing for tomorrow yet either so we've just got to sit and wait so hopefully we're not too long loading here they're just actually bringing out the last two pallets now to put on so yeah hopefully leaving here very soon towards uh, Mary time at tamworth Right, so one container loaded here at um, at West Brom. We're just building up air pressure, typically. <laughs> typically, we're building up air pressure at the minute. There we go. We'll get crawling. We'll get moving. That'll help build up the air pressure. So we are heading to Biff now. We're going to get this box off on a three o'clock VBS that I've asked for. And they're then booking us a 7 o'clock VBS in the morning to, um, really, what a place to stop, to um, pick up a box for rugby for 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, could be a bit tight, but well, what can we do? It's what they want to do, it's what they want to do, isn't it? So they booked the VBSs for us, so we'll get on with it. Um, so we'll probably be parking in Lincoln Farm, I think, tonight, to be honest. Um, we'll get this off at... Um, it's flashing at me about the tag axle. There we go. You want a tag axle down. Um, yeah, we'll um, put it in Lincoln Farm tonight. It's, um, it's all right in there. It's not that far away then. There is, there is Tamworth services. But... It's a bit of bit of a way away to get to um, what you call it. Um, so I'm trying to get up this hill. There we go. We're up. Yeah, it's a bit of a way away to get to Lincoln Farm, though. To be fair, hmm. That is a bit of a bit of a pain, but well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, don't we? So. Yeah, we'll um, get on over to Tamworth. I'll have a little think and a. I'll have a I'll, I'll phone them when I've got when I get to Tamworth to be fair and tell them what my um, what my thinking is and then yeah we'll go from there so let's get over towards Tamworth now hope the traffic's okay and we'll get this container lifted off okay we're getting off at Tamworth and Biff I've not spoke to him about parking worse now. I've been thinking about it on the way over, what we're going to do for parking. So there's a services here, Tamworth services, but I know a few lads that have been driving a while and used to be driving. Oh no, it ain't great in Tamworth services. It is not, it is not particularly the best, but it's the closest. So we'll have to, um, sort of make do with what we've got so I'll tell I'll message him when I get here I'll go try Tamworth services obviously I'll document it and um, if we can't get in you know we'll have to go to um, Lincoln Farm to park up it's just one of them we can't really do a great deal about it because it's not the biggest parking in Tamworth services but we'll have time on our side I suppose plus we ain't got a, tr a load on so we can shrink the trailer up to maybe get in a tight spot, but we'll, we'll see. We'll have a look. If we can get in, we'll get in, and then we'll only have it road then for the morning to um, get the box on, on our 7 o'clock VBS at um, Tamworth, at Maritime. But we'll see. Um, so I'm not, I'm not feeling hopeful of getting into um, Tamworth services, but, you know, I've been wrong before. Okay, so we're in at Maritime. We spoke with the office. We said about we'll go try Tamworth. If we can't get in, we'll have to go to Hams uh, to Lincoln Farming. He says, "Yep, no problem." 
So we pull up to this intercom here and they give us a, a bay to go to. They'll just give us a bay number. That they'll shout out and then we'll go around. So hopefully we shouldn't be too long. It looks fairly quiet at the minute, but we'll see. So it did look quiet, but it does feel quiet in here. Not very often you get straight up to the front, to be fair. It's um, very surprising. You don't have to push it, they just come and tell, they just tell you a bay number. And you can just go around. Oh yeah, we're ready for parking up, I'm tired today. We're up at half three this morning to be into the yard for half four. To get down to the job on time this morning for eight o'clock at Redditch. It's been a uh, been a long old one. But sun's shining as well, so it'll be red up when we park up for most of the day as well. The fans will definitely be out, that's for sure. They will definitely be out. I think we'll be waiting this long for an allocation. Usually they are pretty quick. Well, actually looks, it looks only to be one lifter working, so I suppose we'll have to wait for him to put a box on somebody maybe. Usually there's three of them, but I think there's only one at the minute. There ain't been any trains in either. Which is surprising. Yeah, it just didn't stack as the lift up. So yeah, we'll get off, I'll wait for a bay. Oh, it's actually waved us down, so. <laughs> he has waved us down. Yeah, because there's no one there. There isn't anyone there at all. So intercom must not work then, maybe. So he's waved the maritime down as well. So if I go into stack into pad one, then maritime can go out of the way into pad two, then maybe. I think. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So yeah, let's go get this box off and get around and see what Tamworth looks like. Well, let's see what Tamworth services look like. I think I've parked in here once for a break before. And I think I've got diesel as well in here before. Both times are a bit chaotic, but you know, it's half past three on a Monday. Could be all right, I suppose. We'll see. If I can get in the space, I ain't a problem parking in here. You just have to deal with getting out in the morning then, and that's just you know, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, means we can start at six o'clock in the morning in here. Could do with some, <laughs> could do with some tarmac down, couldn't I? Could even get out on a walk as well. Look, well, if my ankle wasn't busted as well, I could. But HGV, go in. We're in here. Do I just put it on the back row? I might have found my spot that I want, I might have found my spot. If I can get round the other side, I'll come on back row again. Have a look. Yeah, it seems flatter on the back there, so if I can get round this back here, up here, Laughing, but loads of space there as well. You see, oh, I'm spoiled for choice now. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna put it on the front there. I'm gonna put it on the front. <laughs> I was gonna put it back here, but then I thought, hmm, people coming, um, people coming in later on, and that you're a bit tight, bit of a funny angle, it could just cause trouble, couldn't it? So. Yeah, at least we'll get in. That's the main thing. I'm just trying to look for a bit that's flat. You notice it's a bit cambered in here. 
don't know if it shows up like that on camera. It is in the flattest, but I think I'm just going to put it in one of these. I'm going to put it in the end spot here. Maybe put it in the end spot and shrink it back for loads of room then for people to get past. I think that's what we'll do. So just take it, take it back, get it in the end, end marking, shrink, shrink the trailer back. So we ain't got, a, ain't got a container on at the minute, so if we shrink it back, we'll give loads of room then for people to get in and around and do what they need to do. I'll watch the back though. I ain't got the microphone on it again. There we go, you might be able to hear me now. Right, let's pull it over a bit actually because I'm way off. We're way off. And then all we've got to do in the morning now is we can just go straight up round the loop and then um, we'll be good to go. Just watching concrete at the back, it's high concrete. And that I'll probably do as this, so yeah, I'll go shrink it back and off camera and then I'll pick you up when we've got settled in here and probably booked in. Okay, so we've been on booked in. It's actually on Snap, I forgot it was Moto. That went on Snap, so yeah, we've not had to pay. So yeah, this is where we are. We've just got, uh, we're, in, we're in the end bay. Technically it is the end bay. There isn't a parking space next to us, if you can see on the lines and the floor. Cause that's where they go out that's where you exit out there so i think when another wagon sort of parts next to us here you know this side here we've shrunk this trailer back so we're um we've shrunk back so they've got more room to swing out so i think when another wagon parks here and i imagine someone will be brave and park this side as well still on the um on our left we'll um we should get quite a quiet night to be fair but Either way, we're in anyway. That's the um, that's the main thing, isn't it? You know, we're in, booked in, and we can get settled for the night. So yeah, we've got rugby for is it eight o'clock in the morning. I'm sure, they said eight o'clock in the morning. When the phone unlocks, uh, yeah, rugby for eight. Marquis UK Limited, and that's back into um, empties back into Bift. So what size is it? it's a 40 footer 9.9 .9 ton so yeah steady away so yeah i'll get off stop rambling on i'm gonna get set up for the night and finish off the paperwork and i will see you on the next one